All right, Big Brian, here's your center cluster. And as well as notes to myself for the next time I do this, fixing to make one of these for somebody in Abu Dhabi. And I've just covered up the extra two uh, RGB LEDs, and I put them right where uh, the original should be, which I removed all the LEDs, and I used white plastic electrical tape for good uh, background uh, color. And, in this case, so uh, none of our little... Uh, uh, exposed metal contacts will uh, short out anything on the uh, on the gauge so and then what I did here uh, if I don't remember in the future I've just doubled this up and wide it so uh, uh, one string goes to the power supply and uh, one string goes to the main cluster which is over here in a box to my left so and, and then on the uh, on the plastic of course, just like we do with RGBs, we've we've made some little channels for the RGB uh, lights to go through because they stick up off the gauge face. And I've cut these two little guys down, and um, and that's about it. So uh, let's put it together and see how she looks. All right then. All right. Well, I have this uh, white plastic cover on, all cut, so it uh, lays smooth, and we can screw the PC board. In and then I uh, took a chance uh, and I cut where to go. There it is. I cut the little diffuser out. I've done that before with with standard LEDs and not much luck because it it was real spotty in the center. Uh, this one's not cut yet, but I just did an A/B test. I'll show you. Stand by. So here's Brian's very nice uh, Black Hat custom gauge faces, and then we'll turn the lights off. I don't know if you'll be able to see with the camera. Oh, you can see the difference. See, this one's much brighter than that one, but it's still smooth. <laughs> it was kind of a gamble. I was afraid if I cut that out and it was spotty, I'd have to just get another white cover and cut it. But that that that's going to work out great. So uh, the uh, voltage side uh, will will um, cut here in a minute. Let's see if I can operate this thing. I think I've got it upside down. I do. So, anyway, um, on to cutting uh, this side, and then we'll get some needles, and we're going to trim them, try to trim them, uh, where they uh, match uh, up well with the speed hut gauges. Um, so, here we go. All right. Okay, unfortunately, after putting our center cluster in the car, we have no, I repeat, no needle lights. If I turn this off, you can see. See, we've got them on our main cluster, but we don't have them up here on our center cluster. Which means, I'm afraid, that means that the two needle lights are in the same circuit. Let's see if we turn them back on. In the same circuit as the um, gauge background lights. So, Th this LED and that one, which I removed on each of those, they must be in a circuit. Darn it. So, the only thing we can do now is just break it down and uh, resolder the LED and put the um, RGB on top of it. Golly. <laughs> That's a lot of work to get. And, and when I try to put it back together, the LCD wouldn't go in. So what I end up doing is, is taking the screws loose in the back, having the back of it loose, fishing around until I found the holes, sticking it in, holding it, and tightening the back. So, yeah, live and learn. Okay. I've been running. Got these guys going. And working together if I can find that remote. There it is. Be mighty fine here. So, uh, all I have to do now is uh, cut the needles shorter on the gas and temperature and put the insides uh, inside your case uh, for your, your uh, car. It's got nice, uh, pretty clear not scratched casing and um, whatnot. So, 
Uh, looks real good. I get in focus here. And uh, I'll post this for you online. And we'll wrap this up tomorrow night. Uh, and I'll send it to you on Monday. So, sure looks good though. Been a fun project. Oh, and I have your other parts to do to your doors and uh, HVAC and all that. Oh, better get get in there and get to work then. All right.